Welcome back to my channel, Making Crafts. This is part two and the last part in this series for this journal. And so what I'm doing today is I'm just going to be adding pockets and finish decorating the journal. And I'm going to speed up this video. So I'm just doing a voiceover so you can see a quick version of how I finished this journal up. So I'm starting out by using one of the journaling cards that comes in the paper collection. So the paper pack has several different pages that has either tags or journaling cards on them. So I'm using some of the journaling cards as pockets. So I'm just going to use this one as a tuck spot on the inside cover of the journal. And if you've missed the other videos of the flip through and how I created this journal, you can look in the description below and I will have links to both of those videos as well. So for the first envelope, I have gone ahead and cut out a bunch of fussy cuts from the um, 6x12 pack from Lemon Craft. It is the Yesterday pack. And I've gone ahead and cut out those fussy cuts and I have them laid aside and ready to start using them to decorate in different parts of the envelopes. This is a heart from the fussy cuts and I'm just going to use it to embellish this little small pocket here. So I do add quite a few embellishments to this journal and so I'm trying not to overdo it on these embellishments. For the back side of this pocket, I'm going to use one of the little framed pieces from the Fussy Cuts. Once again, I'm not going to keep saying where they came from. All of these did come from the Yesterday Lemon Craft Fussy Cut Pack. And so, um, that way I don't just keep repeating myself and drive you crazy with that. But this is just one of the little frames that I'm going to be adding. I think these frames would be awesome to put to journal in, to write words in, inspiring words in. It'd also be a great little spot to add a little photo in. I'm taking the Distressed Oxide. This one is the Spun Sugar, and I am just inking around my envelope a little bit because I just want to bring in some of the pink. Since there's so much pink in this, I want my envelopes to have a little pink in the background. And if you watched yesterday's video, you will see where I did some pink stenciling in the background and I added some pink to some of the other envelopes that I've already decorated. I'm also going to come in with some acrylic paint and I'm just going to make me a little mixture of acrylic paint and water and I'm going to add splashes to my envelopes. I'm just going to be really careful not to get the splashes on my papers, but I really want a lot of splashes on the envelopes. This paper pack actually in some of the images has pink splashes, so I thought this would be a good way to tie it all in. There are larger splashes, but I decided to go with little bitty splashes on these envelopes. And you will see as I go through decorating, I'm going to add splashes to all of the envelopes. And I know I'm trying not to over embellish this one, but it is so much fun with these images just to keep adding them to the pages and to the pockets that I can't really help myself. This is my favorite part of creating journals and scrapbooks and mini albums. It's just adding all the little embellishments and little bits and pieces. And I thought these two paper packs, even though they're from totally different companies, I thought that they went good together. So that's why I went ahead and used them together like this. Instead of using all the same papers throughout, I wanted to mix it up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little background music and let you watch me decorate these envelope pages. And then, I mean, the yes, the envelope pages, the little pockets and things. The first part of the journal is all envelopes turned into pockets and pages. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little music, let you watch me decorate this part, and then I'll be back to explain anything that I feel like you may want that you might want explanation for or have questions about.
As you can see, this page is already decorated. This envelope is already decorated up, but I felt like I needed to tie the two sections in together, the front section with all of the pockets and the back section that had the journal. So I felt like I needed to bring one of the journaling cards from the other paper pack in so that it all kind of blended together. I felt like there was a disconnect there that, you know, I was jumping from one style paper to the other style. So I thought if I added this to that pocket, then it may will um, bring it all together. So I do lay it aside and take a little while to think about it and then I will come back and add that later. And so for the inside of the journal, once again, I'm using another journal card from the paper pack and it's going to be a tuck spot just like we did at the beginning of the video when I was adding the pocket to the front of the main journal part. So I am keeping the writing journal part simple. One pocket inside there and that's it. I'm not going to add anything to the pages. And so now for the back of the cover, I wanted to add one of these pockets, the triple pockets. And this is just a die that I have and I cannot remember the name at the moment, but I will try to put the name in the description below. I did get that from Amazon. And so now I'm just going back, like I told you before, I was going to eventually decorate this pocket to bring them both together. So what I've decided to do is bring in the journaling card and some of the little leaves from the other paper pack. Now for the cover, I am going to be adding some lace. And so I've decided to use this wide crochet lace to cover so that it folds over and it covers the front and the back of the spine. And I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac to glue that down. And I love using crochet lace. I'm sure you have seen that before. I use that a lot on my spines. And for this one, I, I had tried out several different laces. I auditioned them, but I felt for this cover, it needed the thicker lace versus the thinner lace that I sometimes use. And so I am just adding the Fabri-Tac to the front and then the spine, and then I'll add it to the back and attach this lace. And this lace came from the DC Scrap and Rooster. She has a channel here on YouTube and she also has an Etsy shop. She sells on both places. So once I was finished adding the wide lace to the cover, I decided that it felt like it needed a little bit more. So I'm coming back with a smaller crocheted ribbon and you can see I have auditioned several different colors out on the left hand side there. You can see I've got several spools laid out because I'm auditioning the different shades of cream that I have and I wanted a lighter shade and so I thought this one went really well with the lace and with the cover, went with the original lace and then the cover. And so I just liked layering these up. And the original journal that I, that was my inspiration, it did have two different color laces on it. And so I did like the different lace being on the cover. So that's what I decided to go ahead and kind of be similar to that journal as well. So now that the cover is decorated, I'm not gonna add any more decorations. I'm just going to add the lace, the crocheted lace to the cover. And that's it. Normally I like to add a lot of different things to the cover, but I really felt like this paper was so pretty, I just didn't want to cover any of it up. So the journal is now complete. If you haven't seen the other two videos in this series, just be sure to look at my description so you can see a total flip through of it, or you can see how I actually put the whole journal together. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.